right, so some good news. The previous owner of the house finally got the tow truck out here to get rid of the truck that he had parked on the property that appeared to not run and been overgrown by grass. which is great because <clears throat> we really didn't want to have a, a truck that doesn't belong to us just sitting out here on the property. He stated that the tow company tried to come at one point and somebody stood down at the driveway and told him they couldn't come up. I don't know what he's referring to. Nobody in my house blocked the tow truck from coming up the driveway, but uh, I mean, maybe a neighbor or something did or maybe they were at the wrong house, who knows. Out here walking the garden today, the uh, Razor Road Garden we put in just a few days ago. And already some of these seeds, this is the lettuce here. <clears throat> so I've got these little popsicle sticks to mark what I planted where. These are the lettuce here. They are starting to prop up or sprout up all over down through this area. I will probably have to go through and thin some of these because I planted a few seeds in each hole just to make sure we did have germination happening all over and as you can see some of these like there's three right there in a row there's two right on top of each other there another two there i think they're going to be too close to each other to probably really do any good possibly again i'm not good at this hardening thing just yet but i do think i'm probably going to thin those seeds out over on this side just to the right of that row we have the cucumbers here and as you can see just a few days Already germination is starting to happen on these cucumbers. They are coming up. I am not sure what happened with this one here because my pile, that one here, sorry, camera was off angle there. My pile of dirt is over there. How did the seed end up over here? I don't know what I managed to do with that, but I think that's the same thing. Maybe it's not, maybe it's a different plant. But that's the cucumbers, they are coming up as well. I don't see anything else sprouting just yet. None of the tomatoes appear to be doing anything yet. Um, I mean, that there's a little leaf there, but I don't know. That might be something. I can't tell. Oh, there's a little green guy right there. That's in the tomato row. So we do have some activity going on. Some of the plants, the seeds that I already started, some of them, after I transplanted them, I don't think they were ready. They just didn't make it. Like, that used to be a broccoli plant, and it died. Uh, back here, I do still have, these were two broccoli plants. Again, just trying to increase germination, so I did the same thing in the seed pots. This one doesn't look like it's going to do very well at all. That one is doing better. Uh, we got another one here. Same thing, that one looks like it's dying, that one looks like it's living. So these broccoli plants might just thin themselves out. And I think I planted one here too. It looks like that might have been it. It's gone as well. I might have to come back through and put some seeds in just to make sure we have more broccoli. And then the cauliflower, there's one plant there. And I think that's all that survived um, in the seed pots for cauliflower. So the rest of these I think are all seeded. So that's it for today. Just a quick update video on where we are. Um, tomorrow, I'm planning on going out to get a new car. Traded in my Mazda 5, 185,000 miles on it for a Prius 2008 uh, with 109,000 miles. The listing price was 7,100. The guy said with the trade-in out the door, he'd probably get us. Uh, the manager said the best they could do is 7,900 after taxes, fees, and the trade-in and all that. However, a friend, uh, called, texted him. He was telling her all that stuff. And uh, she did some more negotiation. And uh, we're going to get out the door tomorrow in that Prius, tax styles, fees, everything for 5800 So that is saving us quite a bit of money from what what uh, he had stated it would have cost before. I'm not good at negotiation, so it's really good to have something like that going on. But that's it for today. Until next time, see ya. Surprise, I'm back. Um, did not get a chance to post yesterday's video yet because 
it's out here on cellular. It takes forever. We don't have Wi-Fi yet. It takes forever to upload stuff through cellular. So I just did not have the time last night and haven't done it yet today. But we are sitting in the new car. So I did get it uh, for the price, the 5800 out the door. I have driven all the way home from the car lot, hour and 12 minutes away, and I'm still on a full tank. This is amazing. Amazing. Still getting used to the car, lots of buttons and things. Uh, if you guys have never driven a Prius before, this is a push button start, and there are options in here I still don't know how to work. Like on the shifter, it has a B, the letter B, like boy. I don't know what that's for, but I'll have to look it up online and see. But uh, just final little piece little update adding this to the video right here at the tail end so if you stayed past our Dameron family homestead logo then you got the uh, update so thank you for watching